You mentioned that the data from our Earth Network's Total Lightning Network showed a clear increase in lightning pulses over an area after turbines were built. But another data source, the geostationary lightning map, did not show a clear signal. Is that right? I looked at a wind farm and looked at the lightning occurring over it before the turbines were built and after they were built to see if there was a clear change in the signal. And there was in the Earth Network's data, but not in GLM. The geostationary lightning mapper is this lightning sensor that's detecting from space. So it's looking for light escaping the cloud top. If we have this upward lightning coming from a wind turbine, you're going to be at the bottom of your cloud. You've got these small pulses for lightning strikes coming from turbines. They're usually not the most energetic compared to your big cloud to ground flashes. They're not as energetic, they're not as luminous, and they're also having to travel through a lot of the cloud. So it's going to make it harder for GLM to see. So to really study the phenomena, you need a ground-based network, right? Yeah. You would